Thailand's king has made his first public comments after months of demonstrations. Mahawa Chiralongkorn has given a rare interview to foreign media. He and Queen Sutida have met with thousands of supporters outside the Grand Palace. The remarks are unprecedented for Thais not used to seeing the king speak to the media. Bangkok has been the scene of massive pro-democracy protests demanding reforms including to the monarchy. Now for a closer look on this story we're joined by Dr. Natawood Pimpa live from Bangkok. And Dr. Natawood, tell us then the king rarely speaks to the media at all. How significant are these comments? Well, I look at this from two perspectives. Well, first, from the communication perspective, this airman has such a, a powerful, impromptu communication from His Majesty the King to the public. You know, when it comes to, to the message or the portrayal of public images from the palace in the parts, we in Thailand, we are very familiar with the formal ways, the official and approaches in communication from the palace. But yesterday, we have witnessed a direct, informal, but compelling communication from His Majesty the King to the public for the first time, which I think is tremendous. Second, from the social perspective, social media has been doing an important role in, in Thai politics in the last decade. Again, this is significant because the event has been sharing in the social media among Thais and non-Thais uh, for millions of times today. I've, I've watched it the whole time and it has a great combination of message, interactivity and emotion Certainly, the, the, the video, the clip itself has antithesis in the generic social media messages in an era of uh, the political polarization and partisan division in Thailand. So I think this is really great to see this thing happen. And of course, I have to touch on the fact that he called Thailand the land of compromise. I mean, what do you read into it? I mean, is he hinting that maybe a solution is on the horizon? Well, that sounds very interesting because um, I'm interested in looking at the language and a uh, fresh um, um, leader use in, in um, public sphere. If you analyze the language expressed by His Majesty the King to the public, words or phrases such as, we love them all the same, and he um, pronounced that three times. Uh, the land of compromise, as you mentioned, these are positive signals from, from the communication perspective. And I was thinking of social affirmation concept, which we use to explain how individuals adapt the information or communication that are received to the self-concept or belief. And this is how the Thai now feel very positive. The kind of language he uses is a sign of communication for really positive outcomes. And, and more import importantly, if you look at the uh, communication approach he used yesterday, His Majesty the King has changed the perception among uh, some people who may have received information from the, uh, let's say, social media or impersonal media, now that he's very personable, and it's not only him, the monarchies become personable, being a part of social media uh, and have direct message to the public. This is itself, uh, I, I, I think it can create the identity or identity relevance among, among Thais. And that identity has long uh, been lost in the public sphere in Thailand. So to some, I think this is really a great positive solution for us. It seems like an opportunity there for the king. Uh, how has the response been then from the public? Uh, has it been positive? Yeah, well, quite interesting because um, um, you, you look at the media of different types, formal, informal, social media or traditional media, they keep reporting and are resharing these uh, incidents, uh, showing messages, images from the monarchy and the way they interact. They can even use um, selfie um, with the, the public, which has, we have never seen this before. This is really a great communication event that changed um, um, the, the, the voice of monarchy in Thailand, my, in my opinion. This is actually can potentially change the perception of some groups or let, let's say protester who may not be clear on the role of monarchy in Thailand. So this is really an interesting event that we have to watch very closely. All right, thanks for sharing your thoughts, Dr. Netawood Pimpa from Mahidol University.